Welcome to Back Office. I'm Karanja Jalanku, Executive Editor of the Tri-State Defender, and you're watching TSD TV. I have with me here Brittany Gaithen, and she's going to be the inaugural guest for Back Office as we give you some idea of what we went through to produce a story in the edition of the Tri-State Defender. Brittany, how are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you, Dr. Jones? I'm doing most excellent, doing most excellent. Now, Brittany has been working with us as an intern for some time and has, has been producing stories in the newspaper, and now we're branching out into television. How do you feel about that? Um, I'm definitely grateful for the new experience. I want to be as versatile as I can, especially since the journalism field is so competitive. So I'm glad to be on TSD TV. Excellent, excellent. Now, you had a very interesting story in the Tri-State Defender this past week. Tell us a little bit about how, first of all, you found out about the story and made the decision to cover it. Well, I'm a member of the University of Memphis chapter of the National Association of Black Journalists, and I knew that we were having this discussion with Dr. John, Dr. Johnson, and you know, at the, one of the meetings, they mentioned that the National Association was a little bit upset because of some comments he made about homosexuality and single mothers and linking that between homosexuality and young African American men to uh, psychological castration, is how the term used. Wow. And then you, you heard of that and you decided what? I, well, I was already kind of interested in okay. the story. So um, that just kind of gave another angle. And I um, interviewed the vice president, Tasha Austin, prior to the event, and then I covered the event, and it pretty much just um, went from there. Now, when you decide that you're going to cover a story like that, do you just go ahead and do it? Do you touch base with someone first? How do you do that? Um, well, my mom took the photographs. So, um, she mentioned that she would take them for me. You got your mom to work with you? Yes. Wow. What type of uh, offer did you have to make to get her to help you with that? Uh, nothing. Um, she mentioned, well, she knew that Dr. Johnson was coming. She wanted to attend the event as well. Okay. And so she said that I should um, ask you if I could cover it. And so she just came along and with the little um, camera and took pictures. Teamwork. Teamwork. Yes. And this was last Thursday? Yes. Okay. All right. And so... Who attended the event? Help us see the scene. Well, there were um, different people. I don't think it was just University of Memphis students. Um, I know at one of our meetings, Vice President mentioned that people were coming outside of the university because they'd heard about Dr. Johnson and were interested in hearing what he had to say. So it wasn't just um, a university event. Other people from outside came. Okay, so from a reporting standpoint, what did you have in your mind in terms of what you knew that you were going to have to do to cover the story, where you positioned yourself, that sort of thing. Well, I knew I wanted to ask Dr. Johnson at least um, one question. So I, I had another question initially, but um, I, he mentioned during the course of his discussion that he was going to have a book out for women about relationships. So I just kind of asked, changed my question and asked him about his book and how it would be different from other celebrities like Steve Harvey who would bring relationship books. So did you ask the question actually during the session itself? No, there was a portion after the event where he took questions from a couple of people. So I, I just see. asked him. Kind of. And were you able to ask a follow-up question or was it a one-shot, got to get it type of thing? I just asked one question and we had um, for, for the people that he asked. So. so I noticed when you were, when I was editing the story, you were talking about the pushback that the local chapter was getting from uh, the national chapter. I thought that the uh, the president and the vice president, they took a pretty firm stand on it. Well, she was interested in what he had to say, and she, she was just basically like, not to put it next, she was basically, I asked her, well, how do you feel about your choice to bring him here with all the controversy? And she was just like, I don't care. They don't know what he's going to say. I don't agree with everything he has to say. He might, might not agree with everything I have to say. So she was just pretty firm about their decision. Was there any feedback or any pushback from the University of Memphis about him coming? Not that I know of. I mean, the only conflict I was made aware of through the vice president was the conflict with the National Association. I don't think the university really had a problem with it. 
Now, the topic itself, uh, relationships, that's very timely, particularly with some of the things that have been coming out relative to domestic violence and that sort of thing. So was that part of your thinking in terms of, well, this would be a good story to cover? Not really. I was just interested in hearing Dr. Johnson speak and covering it because I'd heard him speak before when he was here at Lamont on college. So okay. I knew that he would give some interesting material to include in my story. Okay. So now you've got the story mm -hmm. and you're back. Did you have a deadline relative to when you needed to get the story done? Not really. I mean, I wanted to get it in as soon as possible, but no real deadline. Okay. And so tell us about the writing of the story, a little bit about the process that you might have gone through. Uh, well, it was kind of hard because he mentioned a lot of interesting stuff over the course of his discussion, so I was just hard trying to narrow it down. There's stuff that I wanted to include at first, but it was getting, the story was getting too long, so I just kind of tried to get the meat of the story and leave out all the extra stuff. If you had to do it again, would you do anything different relative to going to cover it, and would you write it any differently? No, not that I can think of. I mean, I'm pretty satisfied with the end result and how everything came together, so I'm pretty content with it. And your mom's pictures, are you satisfied with that? Yes, sir. Excellent. Well, this is uh, Back Office, and we will be doing more of this type of thing, giving you an idea of what does it actually take to produce the stories for the newspaper. We, you, you will be seeing uh, Brittany a lot more often. Thank you so much for tuning in to Back Office. This is TSD-TV.